Hi, I'm Dave Lomax, and this is Adventure Specs FAQs. As a rough rule of thumb, the more rubber you have on the outside surface of a tyre, the longer the tyre will last, and the better the grip you get on solid surfaces such as tarmac. Conversely, the less rubber you have on the outside of a tyre, um, normally that means that the pattern of blocks is broken up, therefore you get bigger gaps between the blocks. That increases your performance on broken ground or soft ground, but it also decreases the performance of the tyre on hard pack, such as tarmac. So let me give you an example of some actual tyres and how that relates to the real world. We're going to start with the Motos Tractionator GPS tyre. This has a solid band of rubber running around the centre of the tyre all the way around the circumference. And what this means is that when you are on a tarmac road, you have a single contact patch of rubber, as long as the bike is upright, all the time. This is fantastic for road performance. It reduces noise because you don't get the noise of the howl of the blocks contacting and then removing itself from the tarmac and then contacting again. And it also means you get improved friction, which is fantastic until you start to move off-road, at which point that constant band of rubber around the outside of the tyre is going to be problematic for finding grip in unsolid or loose surfaces. So then we move to a tyre like the Motos Tractionator Adventure. Slightly less rubber, but in a different configuration. In this case, it has a series of blocks running all the way around the tyre with gaps in between along the centre line. This means you get more road howl, but it gives the tyre the ability to dig, to grip and to dig when you get onto loose ground, which increases the off-road performance, but means that on-road performance is a little less solid. And finally, moving on to a true, more focused off-road tyre, like the Motors Tractionator Ral Z, the blocks get smaller and are zigzagged giving more bite and more grip off-road. Fantastic for the loose ground, but again, slightly reducing that performance when you get onto solid surfaces like tarmac. So the rough rule of thumb is, the less rubber, the more blocks, and the more widely spaced the blocks, the better the performance off-road, and conversely, the more rubber, the larger the blocks and the smaller the spaces, the better the performance on-road.